I can't believe it's been a month since I've seen you guys. I've got an assignment for you today that I hope that you'll find a little bit fun. Um, it's called The Unwelcome Guest. And if you've ever done a mad tab lib, that's what it's like. Uh, I've got a copy of it for each one of you in the classroom, so hopefully you can edit on it in the classroom. It's designed for you to do it with a friend, so call somebody up, snap somebody up, um, and find somebody to do it with you. If you like the results and you think that it is funny, then you can upload those results, upload a picture of them to our new dum da da dum classroom Instagram page. If you notice, there's a new Instagram button right there in uh, on our YouTube channel, um, and it's called The Classroom Counts uh, on Instagram. Um, look at me not letting my brain go to waste during our time off. I'm figuring out how to do all sorts of fun new things. Uh, so when you get your um, the unwelcome guest little story filled in, then you can post your stories on our Instagram page and we can share them and laugh together. Uh, but some of y'all may not feel like laughing and um, having a chuckle at our unwelcome guest. And I totally get that. And I understand that. So um, you just may not want to do the mad tab lib. Uh, so just take a second to write about the actual coronavirus because we know that it has been a very unwelcome guest during this time. And uh, think about the conflict of something that you have had to cancel that has been important to you and how that has made you feel. And take a minute to journal about that and um, Write your feelings down because that really is important. And that's narrative writing because the character is the coronavirus as the unwelcome guest. And the conflict is something that you have had to cancel because of this unwelcome guest. Now, you can't have a conclusion to your story because we don't know the conclusion yet. So it's kind of open-ended, but still you're engaging in the narrative writing. And some of you will want to do both. You'll want to do the fun assignment, and then you'll want to go ahead and journal about how you have had to cancel something that's been important to you over this time. And so do both of those for your assignment for the day. Um, now, for those of you who are just joining us on the channel and you don't have access to um, the template in the Google Classroom, you can go to the Instagram page and I have posted the templates for the instructions and the unwelcome guest just as blanks on our Instagram page. And so I hope that you have a little bit of fun with that today, guys. Uh, now, if you have not caught up with the visions of Samantha Flynn, there are 11 chapters uh, in the channel now. So you've got some catching up to do. You can just give a listen. Uh, you don't have to watch me while you're listening. You can just uh, have my voice playing in the background and you can hear what's been happening with Samantha um, and know what's going on in the visions of Samantha Flynn. Uh, if you've heard yet what uh, the school has proposed for the seniors, how they can um, get their grades for the fourth nine weeks, I don't know what's coming down the pike for us yet. They haven't told us, um, but they're offering some supplemental assignments to the seniors. And so if they do that for us, uh, for us to get our grades for the fourth nine weeks, um, then there are uh, several very easy assignments that I can do with the visions of Samantha Flynn to give us supplemental activities to do um, to get grades for the fourth nine weeks. So get caught up on the visions of Samantha Flynn. Enjoy your activities with um, the unwelcome guest and it's good to see you guys on the Ides of April. <music>